Here we go, I'm back with another DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time. With the new AI generated subtitles, I already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically in this video here. And now with the new title functions, you can animate them as well. This is really fun. So how did I do it? Let's figure it out together in another session with me. And if you enjoy what you see, like and subscribe, what supports me the most. So let's dive right in. All right, we are currently in DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. I've already imported the video sequence by drag and drop it here from my video pool to the timeline. And this is the sequence I want to show you how to add those animated subtitles in different styles. And first of all, we want to generate here the subtitles to this audio sequence. Here we go. I'm back with another DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time. All right, so, and we need here, starting with the subtitles after this snap, let's go to the beginning and we go to our timeline, we go to AI tools and we say create subtitles from audio. So then it will say maximum length 32, single lines, it's fine. So let's see how this looks. It should be English, hopefully. And yeah, no gap between the subtitles. Let's create them. And let's check it out how it looks like now. Here we go. I'm back with another DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time. With the new AI generated subtitles, I already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically in this video here. And now with the new title functions, you can animate them as well. This is really fun. So how did I do it? Let's figure it out together in another mm -hmm. session with me. And if you enjoy what you see, like and subscribe, what supports me the most. So let's dive right in. Okay, I think this is valid. So let's mute the audio track for a moment. What I saw we have here in no time with the HNR subtitles. I already did a separate automated video here. Okay, this is not correct. This should be that. And the next sequence should start with, uh, not with an upper letter. So, okay, that's, that's fine. All right, so basically I'm very satisfied. This AI subtitle generation works very well. But now we have the subtitles on the one hand a bit uh, too much here in the middle of the screen. So what I do here, I select the subtitle. I go here in the inspector. If you don't have this already open, you just click it here and you will see here the caption, the track window. And in this window, you can see all the subtitles here and you can edit one after another. In my case, I go to track here because I want here to edit the whole subtitle stream, the whole timeline here with the subtitles. And for that, I will go here to the positioning where it's positioned. So it's in the middle. That's great. But I want to get, get them more to the bottom. So I think this is a good place. I like the size, basically, maybe a bit bigger but then I think that's fine so let's go here ah yeah and because in the text you can hear it here we show you how to add animated subtitles so the ones before the three blocks here so i will cut them out and i want to start here with this part so here we don't have any subtitles in this video i will show you how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time with the new ai okay so i think that's perfect for my intro sequence but how do i animate it now for that we go to the very left side here to our toolbox where i have video transitions and everything else and we go to titles then we can open this sub menu and then you have subtitles 
you have the animated part right at the very beginning because at the bottom here you have normal subtitles you can also add different styles here but what we are searching for are the animated ones so i want to have the same animation for all the subtitles in the intro sequence it should be the same so i will simply drag and drop this lollipop effect here to my subtitle timeline line all right and as you can see here the first style was already applied so let's play it back how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time with the new ai generated subtitles i already did a separate video about editing okay that's interesting so i think this is a bit messed up so what we need is to to modify it a bit but anyways this is not the right style so you can use this let's let's try out this one with the rotating with the ones. new ai generated subtitles i already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically. okay i think this looks fun but it's not the style i want then slide in what's with that how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time with the new ai generate okay also quite nice but i don't know then let's try out the last one the word highlight it's subtitles i already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically in this video here ah, i think this could work for some videos maybe not my style as well but i think this could work with different colors but i think i will go for the last one here the statement let's put it here and then let's see how this looks like because i really like this style you how to add animated subtitles to your videos in no time with the new AI generated subtitles, I already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically in this video here. Okay, I must say I'm pretty satisfied, but I will also show you how to edit them uh, even more because now the subtitles are way too much in the middle. So I will bring them down again. So for that, I will select the subtitle line again. Then I go to the inspector here on the right upper side then I have here the captions, they are fine because they're the same one as before. And then I go to track and here I will do the same what I had before. So I go down here and I will check the center X and Y. So I move them down. So just that I can continue talking and you're not hearing me um, twice. I will mute this track again. I will change it a bit, maybe the animation speed. Let's put it faster. Oh, I think this looks great. And then maybe I will change the font to another one. Maybe let's go with the Rockwell. So it's my preferred font I use. And I don't like the back color here in red. So I will do this in yellow. All right, let's see how it looks now. Let's unmute this track again and... Animated subtitles to your videos in no time. With the new AI generated subtitles, I already did a separate video about it. Okay, I think this looks already great, but it's a bit too big, I would say. I like the animation speed, but let's do it a bit smaller here because they're too big for the whole video. I think I like this one and let's go again. Animated subtitles to your videos in no time. With the new AI generated subtitles, I already did a separate video about adding them manually. Okay, I think this looks great. Let's check the style again when it's okay. I can see here an example here, subtitles. And I will go for roundness so you can make it even more round the edges or get rid of them. I think this looks already great. Then I can go for the slant. I think. This is fine, I don't need it. Okay, and maybe let's check titles. I already did a separate video about adding them manually and automatically in this video here. And now with the new title functions, you can animate them as well. This is really fun. So how did I do it? Let's figure it out together in another session with me. And if you enjoy what you see, like and subscribe what supports me the most. So let's dive right in. 
Okay, and I'm pretty happy about this result and I think we're done with the tutorial, as easy as that. Well, I think this wasn't that hard, but very helpful to generate those automated subtitles in different animated styles. Very practical when you want to add nice captions quickly to a video, or even better to a short. Alright, that's basically it, and if you enjoyed my new DaVinci Resolve Studio 20 tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button to spread out the video to the world, and if you want to see more from me, subscribe and check out my DaVinci Resolve playlist right here. Stay healthy, take care, and I will see you definitely in the next one.